Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create routing in SAP. This is a master data. T code is CA01. Okay. To create this one, you need the material and you put the material and plan. Key date is the valid date of this routing. You can default it select the it gets the today's date if you want you can change it now press enter you go inside and here you need to give the usage as one let's say the status for that's it from the header data and if you want you can give the lot size uh, if there is a specific lot size you can select that one if this routing is valid for 0 to 50,000 you can give that and then under the operation window you need to select the, uh, the work center here if you get a view like that it means you have something wrong with your selection right so click on work center category now here you can search the work center you can get the work center list here these are the work centers that I have already created in SAP, I select the one and I give the control key as well here yeah. for then if you double click on that control key you go inside and you have to give the values I'll go inside again here the base quantity is one if I want I can change it I'll change it to 100 let's say and here give the setup time which to what are the values that I am going to use to create this 100 product setup time is 1 hour machine time is 1 hour labor hours 2 hours to create 100 pieces so that's it that's, those are the main data and here you can the control key is important so different different control keys has different options right you select the PP01 control key let's say PP01 detail information see those are the characteristics of this control key if you select the PP03 it says automatic good receipts and likewise okay here this one number two means the pp01 confirmation is required for pp03 confirmation is blank in this is confirmation is not possible confirmation is possible but not necessary so i select the pp01 and okay i select pp03 because i need to insert two operations for this routing here you have to give the work center again and in the description i'll give the my first operation control key is pp03 maybe your case uh, this pp01 pp03 configuration are different right first check that one so i'll give the first operation cutting second operation folding so the that one also i'll give the values to create a base quantity of one setup time is one hour machine hours three and labor hours one i'll make the base quantity hundred now that i have considered the two operations in this routing here the PRT production resource tools you have to select the operation and if you click PRT it will go if you are using the production resource tool you can select the relevant PRT here the resource tool can be a tool that you are going to use in production inspection characteristics also you can include if you are using the quality management module right here you can give the characteristics that you are going to inspect and I'll save so that's it here 
I have created the routing with a group. Okay. So one step forward, I will explain how to create the alternative routing as well. So go to the same transaction, I'll give the same material number and the plant here. My group counter is one, I have a routing here. So if I create new entries, my group, group counter is now two and I give the usage and status, go to operations. Yeah, I give the work center and the control key um, description as well. If I double click on control key, it will go inside and give the time and base countries, let's say 150. Okay, and then I save it. Now I have created two routings for the same material. So if I view my if I view my routings to change routing C A02, see I have two lines here, group group counter one and group counter two. It means I have two routings for this finished good. See these two has have different characteristics. Thank you all. See, please subscribe my YouTube channel.